Hey everyone, um, thanks for tuning in. I want to share something with you guys really quick. Um, lately I've been forming a revelation and I think it's pretty much confirmed enough to take it seriously. And that's in regarding with 2 Thessalonians 2.8, a very famous scripture. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Now, I always thought destroying with the brightness of his coming, okay, that's going to be like the death of the Antichrist and all that stuff. Uh, when Jesus actually comes, it's going to be shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. I'm sure many people would agree. I always read that as one single event. <coughs> that, you know, Jesus will... Um, descend from the clouds and in lightning and all that kind of stuff and it'll be a single event but now I don't think it means that um, I didn't find the scripture unfortunately but the coming of Jesus is described in our Bibles as the breaking forth of the day or breaking forth of the dawn the Sun doesn't rise in a single event the Sun rises um, over a period of hours okay so what started me on this, and that's what I think, shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. This is going to be a process of judgment that will consume away the wicked, that will consume away the Antichrist like the rising of the sun. Okay? We do see this in our Bibles alone. But what made me start thinking about this was, here we are in a random Arminian Apocrypha uh, text, um, you know, if I could get to the title, Concerning the 15 Signs of Judgment, Recession 3. Okay, I'll leave this stuff in the description box below. And basically, it's very interesting. It talks about um, the hours. It talks about the signs of every day um, until the coming of Jesus in like a judgment, like the breaking forth of the day as the sun rising. Now, when I first read this text, I necessarily didn't take it seriously, but I started meditating on this. I'm like, all right, well, this, you know, I don't know if the context of this text is, text is necessarily true. It's kind of besides the point and should be studied. But I think the theology actually makes sense um, because our Bibles do say he will come as, as if the rising of the sun, as if the breaking forth of dawn. So... Pardon me, guys. You know, crazy attack. They're playing with my mustache. Um, so, this text started making me think about that. And actually, in the last text, the Latin revelation of John about the Antichrist that we shared last night. Notice that we're on page 1010 here. Very interesting. Um, actually confirmed this theology. Um, and it's a revelation of the silence in heaven. So, maybe this process of judgment... The darkest hour is always before the dawn. Is that silence of heaven for a half hour? I don't know. After these tribulations, there will be great silence in heaven and earth for 40 days and nights. No creature will make a sound and be heard. And perhaps we can read about this in more detail in this Arminian text. As the sun as Jesus comes as the breaking forth of the day. I don't know, it's just an idea. That's what seems to be the case. Um, that the Antichrist won't be killed in a single event. Um, there will be a judgment as, I think it even says in the book of Hosea, your judgment will be as if the breaking forth of the day. The Ezekiel's wheels turning, just judgments of God slowly turning that nobody could do anything about because they're set in stone. They're, they're as if a nail in a short place. And, um, and anyone who goes against it will just be mowed down. And so that's what I think we'll see, because the coming of Yah is Ezekiel's wheels. So that's what I think it means. So that this is something I'm seeing in these texts. Uh, very interesting. So I just wanted to share this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hope people can receive this, and it's a sharpening and edifying. I'll leave these texts in the description box below. Check it out. Um, okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. God bless you.